Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are checking out Goodfellas, the 1990, I'm assuming, crime drama movie starring Robert De Niro and Joe Pesci. Those are the only two actors that I know in this movie. Oh, and it's directed by Martin Scorsese. I know that as well. I'm really excited to get into this movie. After watching the first, second, and third Godfather movies, I have really started to like this genre of storytelling, this genre of film. So I was thinking of getting into more of this genre, starting with The Good Fellas. Or I guess it's not even called The Good Fellas. It's starting with good fellas yeah uh also before we start this reaction sorry if my reactions to the in this video are a little bit dim simmered down or dimmed down i've had a lot of allergies lately my allergies have been acting up a lot and this whole weekend it's monday i'm filming this on a monday right now and saturday sunday even friday i was like super super sick with allergies so i'm filming this later than i wanted to film it just because of how sick I was, and today I'm feeling a little bit better, so hopefully it does not interfere with the reaction. But yeah, if there's sneezing in this video, or if I have a running, like a lot of runny nose or something, then that is just because I have allergies and there is a lot of pollen in the air right now. But yeah, I don't really know what this movie is about. Don't know anything about this movie. Actually, I just know that this movie is supposed to be very good, and I don't even know. I'm assuming that this takes place in like the 1940s or 50s. I feel like that is when The Godfather, The Godfather was like the 40s and 50s, I think, right? And then The Godfather 3 was like the 70s. Uh, but I don't know when this is gonna take place. I'm assuming it's gonna take place in the 40s. It could take place in like the 1990s. It could take place in the 1800s. Who knows? I guess I'll find out, but I'm very, very excited to watch this movie. I'm very excited to see Martin Scorsese's directing because I haven't seen a lot of his movies, but I know that he's an amazing director, so I'm excited to expand my reach of Martin Scorsese films. I'm also very excited to see young Robert De Niro. I haven't really watched a lot of young Robert De Niro movies besides Taxi Driver. I haven't really seen any of his other ones that when he's a young, when he was a young actor, I've never really seen them. And then also Joe Pesci. I watched Lethal Weapon and he was so funny in Lethal Weapon, but you guys were like, watch Goodfellas, watch his serious role that he's in. He's really good in these serious roles, so I'm very excited to see his performance in this movie as well. Before we get into this reaction, though, <laughs> did you hear what I said? Before we get into this reaction, though, before we get into this reaction, though, I'm gonna do the lighting. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet for the lighting, but I guess we'll find out. I'm, I guess we can, we can choose together. Let me turn on my light, and then we can choose the lighting. Boop. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, the lighting today, I think I'm going to go like a... Okay, so whenever I do a yellow, it always looks orange on camera, but this is like yellowy orange. And I'm doing that one because the characters' names are like yellow on the poster. And two, uh, the actual, I'm watching this on Amazon Prime, by the way, Amazon Prime video. And there's like Robert De Niro and another guy who I don't recognize like standing behind him And then the whole background is like this very yellowy orange cityscape So I think yellow and orangey the light tone the color tone may work with this movie I'm hoping so I mean sometimes I don't choose the lighting because it'll work with the movie like in the first Godfather movie I chose a green because it was like the stem of his rose so I don't choose the lighting for the aesthetic but I think in this case, I am choosing it for the aesthetic and I'm hoping that I'm choosing the right aesthetic. Also, if you'd like to check out more of my reactions, you can head over to my Patreon where I have uncut reactions to many of the movies I watch on YouTube as well as early access reactions to my TV shows and movies that come out one week early. There are also two exclusive Patreon movies a month that you guys on Patreon get to choose. Thank you so, so much if you check it out. Now let's get back to the video. Also, another thing that I'd like to add before we actually start watching this movie is that this is going to be one of the last movies that my channel has in the summer, if not the last one. I definitely pre-recorded some movies, so those will be coming out after this one, like The Prince of Egypt, Twister, stuff like that. Those movies will be coming out, but because I do have a full-time summer job in the summer, obviously for eight weeks of the summer, I'll be working 40 plus hours a week, probably 45, 46 hours a week. So I will not have time to be recording reactions for my YouTube channel. So I have pre-recorded a couple and I will try my best to get a couple more in to record some in the summer for you guys, but I can't guarantee that I'll be, be, be able to post every week. Um, I'm hoping to be able to post once a week, at least in the summer, starting in July, but I can't guarantee it. So. 
Uh, yeah, so thank you so much if you stick around with the channel over the summer. There's going to be a lot less content, unfortunately. I do really want to keep making content. I just don't have the time for it right now. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this reaction. And then I hope you enjoy any reactions that come out in the summer. I know there will probably be few and far between. I wish I could do something about it. I just can't. Again, I just won't have the time. So I'm really sorry about that. But yeah, I hope you enjoy the content that comes out in the summer. And again, I hope you enjoy the reaction right now. Let's get into this movie. I hope you enjoy my reaction to Goodfellas. <laughs> it's kind of fun credits, isn't it? Wait, it's based on a true story, actually? It's actually based on a true story? I wonder what story it is, actually. That's kind of interesting. What the fuck? You better pull over and see. Yeah. Yeah. Is there someone in the trunk? That's a big knife, Joe Pesci. That's a big knife. Oh, look at me. Look at my fucking eye. What the heck? How many times are you gonna stab and shoot this man? He looks pretty much dead already and you shot him like 800 more times and stabbed him like 8 times. I know I'd go <laughs> I don't know why that was such a cool opening. Like as far back as I knew. I wanted to become a gangster. And then just like, like a happy music still frame. That was really fun. Better than being president of the United States. <laughs> True. But it was only because Paulie didn't have to move for anybody. Oh, that was a really good line. That was a really good line. Part of Sicily as she did. I mean, to my mother, that was the answer to all her- All the gangsters are from Sicily. And the Godfather, they're all from Sicily. In this movie, it looks like they're from Sicily. Pissed that my kid brother Michael was in a wheelchair. He was pissed that there were seven of us living- That's not his fault. Don't be so mad at him. Everybody takes a beating sometime. What? I can't make any more deliveries. The way I thought it, the way I saw it, everyone it takes a beating sometime. School to that kid's house comes directly here. You understand? Yeah. Oh my God! He must feel so powerful. The kid must feel insanely powerful. The dog. The dog. Oh my God! I want to pet it. Uh, I wouldn't say the police do this though, right? They don't just go around and smash cars with the crowbars. Money than I could spend. I had it all. Boom! Boom! Another good freeze frame. You wasted eight fucking aprons on this guy. I don't know what the hell's wrong with you. I gotta toughen this kid up. <laughs> you wasted eight aprons on this guy. <laughs> just let him die. Those are my aprons. And before Crazy Joe decided to take on a boss and start a war. This is a really good camera shot. What the heck? It was when I first met Jimmy Conway. Oh my god. It's the man himself. For my bosses when he was 16. See, he Whoa. Bother Jimmy. I bet that's uh, business. our main character's hero, right? We have trouble. We have trouble. Oh no. Those people are going to get killed. <laughs> are they bribing the judge, judge too, too? I can't speak today, I'm sorry. <laughs> I love the freeze frames. I don't know. They're just such a cool choice to have in this film. 1963, okay. So the start of this movie was the 70s. But then that kid, Henry, I feel like was before then as well. So this must be Henry now. Yeah, it must be. By the time I grew Ah, up, look at him! Look at Joe Pesci! It's better than Citibank. Does this guy know that his truck's getting robbed? He must, right? No, he doesn't, does he? And there was Anthony Stabile. How you doing? Frankie Carbone. <laughs> this is a really good way to introduce characters. And Jimmy two times, who got that nickname because he said everything twice, like... I'm gonna go get the papers, get the papers. <laughs> this is such a good camera shot and such a good way to introduce the characters. It's so creative and so engaging. I'll take care of it. Little nods. 
Henry's like his right hand man now. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna problem at all. Huh? We're on. I feel like this is gonna go wrong. I think the start of the movie is this heist. Maybe. I don't know. The start of the movie is something that happens in this movie. It was like a pre prelude. You're gonna tell me something today, tough guy. I said, all right, I'll tell you something. Go fuck your mother. <laughs> oh, Joe Pesci got him. <laughs> You're a big cop. You're a really funny. You're really funny. Joe Pesci always already a standout. <laughs> is he mad at that guy? <laughs> what do you mean? You mean the way I talk? Oh no. Oh no, something so bad is about to happen. Be funny like I'm a clown, I amuse you. I make you laugh. I'm here to fucking amuse you. What do you mean funny? Funny how? <laughs> this took a turn so quickly. Get the fuck out of here, Tommy. <laughs> you motherfucker. I almost had him. I almost had him. <laughs> had him. Had him. Yes, oh my god. Oh my god. Everyone around the table is like nervous laughing because he doesn't know if this is over. <laughs> That was a really good sequence. That was a really good scene. You know, Sonny, you're a real fucking mutt. Oh no, he's gonna slam it against the table? I thought he was gonna do that. It's kind of scary, because it's like a real gun. Bullets in it. I don't know, I would be kind of nervous. Tommy taking over this fucking joint is like putting a silk hat on a, on a pig. I mean, I don't mean no disrespect on Henry. So Tommy's running the restaurant now? Tommy's a bad kid. He's a bad seed. What am I supposed to do? Shoot him? That wouldn't be a bad idea. <laughs> it wouldn't be a bad idea. Trouble with the cops, deliveries, Tommy. He can call Paulie. But now the guy's got to come up with... Whoa, that was a really cool shot. The mirror shot? That was creative. I didn't even ask you anything. At least wait to hear what I'm going to say. Alright, what? Oh, I thought you were saying no, I don't know because other girls want to go out with me alone. I asked you for it, Henry. I'm asking you for a favor. I do a lot of fucking favors for you, don't I? I'm trying to bang this fucking bro. You want to help me out? <laughs> Be his wingman, Henry. Be Tommy's wingman. For Tommy. So how about you, honey? Did you have enough tea? This is the girl? This is the girl? Couldn't wait to get away. I was ordering the dessert while Aww. they were eating dinner. Her poor, the poor other girl. Henry, talk to her. Oh, what the fuck? You got some nerve standing, Mia. Slap him, slap him. On the street, and I mean loud, but she looked good. I'll think about it. Aw, she, uh, she smiled. This is a really good one take. There are a lot of good long takes in this movie, and I'm a sucker for long takes. Wow, this shot is still going. It's incredible. The camera work in this movie is actually phenomenal. And it's just them walking to the club through the kitchen, I feel like, or the party or whatever. But it's so interesting, and there's so many things happening. It's so dynamic. I can't believe this shot is still going. I forgot that it was still going. And then I was like, wait, it's still going. I take my wife everywhere, but she finds her way home. Oh my god. I said, Where do you want to that was incredible. That was incredible. Check, sir. No, no, no. I was about to say. Sign for it here. I was about to say, why are you paying in cash and not on debit and credit? But I feel like that was not invented yet. <laughs> I'm just so used to not paying with cash that when people pay with cash, it's always weird. He introduced me to everybody. Everybody. Yay! Don't buy wigs that come off at the wrong time. <laughs> these wigs don't come off. Who the heck is this guy? I love this. Oh no! Oh no! Bye, Maury. Maury's. His wig fell off. <laughs> I think that's so funny that his wig fell off in his commercial was saying that his wigs never fall off. You alright? Yeah, well, no, she does not seem alright. Oh no. Oh no, don't shoot him, don't shoot him, don't shoot him, don't shoot him. I what if it wasn't him? Was it him? I don't know. Is he just making an assumption here? Oh my god. Ah, his face is getting caved in. 
I'm so glad they got married. I don't know. I like them together. Karen and Henry. Plus, they were all married to girls named Marie. <laughs> Marie is the name of choice. I love it when they are talking, but you can't hear what they're saying, and it's just the music or the surroundings that you can hear instead. It's really good, and it's really unique. I haven't really seen that before in film. Like, like, look, they're talking, but it's only the music that you can hear. I don't know, that's so cool, and I really like it. Where have you been? We were worried to death. A married man does not stay out like this. Yeah. <laughs> He's done. Too much makeup. I mean, they didn't look very good. They look beat up. <laughs> don't have to be that harsh, Karen. When Henry picked me up, I was dizzy. I don't know. I don't know if I could live like this. Again, did you see that amazing filmmaking? All the dialogue intertwining with each other and becoming this like cacophonic because he wanted to get away from her. I don't know. That's why. Noise. Let me tell you something. That you just hate to hear. That's what she felt like when it was, she was in the room. I don't know. So good. That's such a good play. The bag over the hand. Because he could just not have a gun. Kids were born. Mickey and Jimmy were always the first at the hospital. Aww. Aww. To go out and risk his neck. Just to get us the little extras. Age, but I got my mom. This is really interesting. How she's like, doesn't think it's crime anymore. How she's proud of him for doing crime. That's really cool. Okay, so we're back at where the car stuff happened at the very start of the movie, at least a little bit before that, but same year. Watch the suit, watch the suit. Watch the suit. Oh, he make your shoes look like fucking mirrors. Excuse my language. He was terrific. He was oh terrific. my god. He made a lot of you can't speak about him like this. Shine box. Motherfucking Tom, mutt! Tom, you! Tom, you Tom, fucking Tom. You, know, you insulted him a little bit. You got a little out of order yourself. No, I didn't Sorry. insult him. I didn't insult him. him a little bit. You did. No, you did insult him. You called him a shoe shiner. Time, Jimmy. I did my fucking time. I came home and I want what I gotta get. I got fucking mouth. Oh no. Oh no. Wait, this is the guy in the trunk of the car. This is the guy in the trunk of the car. Did he shoot him? No, he didn't, did he? Oh my god, this is the car scene. Okay, we're all caught up on their lives. On their lives. Open your trunk. Okay, here we go. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to see what happens after the car scene now. I thought that was going to be kind of the end of the movie, but it's like that. Not even the halfway point. Tell you. Jimmy told you before. Okay. Anyway, you know what reminds me? I need this knife. I'm going to take oh my god, that's the knife that he stabs him with. You don't eat much. You don't talk much. <laughs> You're not much, Henry. You're not much. Did Tommy ever tell you about my painting? No. Let me see it. This. Not bad, not bad. I like the dogs. Oh. <laughs> are, they are they talking about the guy in the trunk? Oh yes, back to the start of the movie. Each other all the time. Shooting people was a normal thing. It was no big deal. Yeah, that was over nothing, wasn't it? That was over a petty argument. Yeah, a white girl can fall for him. What? Well, I mean, not me. I'm just saying, like, you can see how some girl... <laughs> well, not me. I just leave it alone now. I mean, I understand what you said. You know, the guy's talented. Leave it at that. He's very talented. Joe Pesci always, his character always tries to, like, make an argument out of anything people say. Oh, he always, in some way, takes an offense to the to what someone says. I don't know. He's a very argumentative, argumentative person. Wow, this shot is beautiful as well. Like the lighting and just the, the slow pan, beautiful. So this is the night for the girlfriend. So is he cheating on Karen? Is he cheating on Karen or does Karen know about this and is okay with it? Cause it looks like he's cheating on Karen. This song that is playing over everything is beautiful. It's beautiful.
This is a TikTok song. <laughs> this is a TikTok song. Hi everyone, this video is sponsored by Mob Wars La Cosa Nostra. Mob Wars is a pioneer of the classic mafia game genre. If you like mafia themed games, you should definitely check it out. You get to play against millions of other real players and it is available on both desktop and mobile devices. You can sign up for free by clicking the link on the screen or in the description and join a world of crime and power. Thank you so much to Mobboards for supporting this video and yeah, please, please, please do check it out. Oh my god, look at this shot. The lighting. The lighting, they're just the red glow. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Oh, you still go for your hearts in a long <laughs> oh, That must smell so bad. Oh my god. Karen was home with the kids and she never asked any questions anyway. Oh, Maurice Valencia. So Karen kind of knew about it, but just never asked questions about it. Was she okay with it though? Look at this shot again. Can everyone please just take a moment and appreciate this shot? Dennis and I were having so much fun. She started screwing like the up intricacies the of the shot and the way all the characters move. Oh my god! Okay, I didn't expect this. Is that a jukebox? Oh my gosh, I want a jukebox in my house. Even though everything else is better than a jukebox, I think a jukebox is just kind of cool, you know? Like you can say that you have a jukebox. No, well, you ain't all right, Spider. You got a lot of fucking problems. No, I thought you said you were all right, Spider. I am all right. You ain't. See, he argues with everyone. Uh, the, the Oklahoma kid. Shane. Oklahoma kid. Shane. Oh. oh my God, he's gonna shoot his feet. Oh, oh his foot, dude! You shot his foot. Come on, make a big fucking thing out of it, Spider. You little prick. He has some anger issues. He's your not. Are you fucking nuts? What's your problem? Yes, I'm nuts. Something's going on. Stop. Oh, she doesn't know. Get out! Shut Henry. Up. Get out! Henry, don't throw lights at your wife. Oh, no! <laughs> it doesn't really look like he cares at all. Why don't you go fuck yourself, Tommy? <gasps> Shoot him in the foot, he tells him to go fuck himself. Oh no, Tommy. Hey, what's the matter? What's the world coming to? <laughs> no! No! You can't just kill everyone! Henry must... It looks like Henry has some form of problem with it. Get your own goddamn man! Oh my god, she has the gun still from the start of the movie! He wouldn't die, right? He's, he's like the main character. Okay. Do you love her? Do you? I don't know, I feel like if you say yes, then she'll shoot you. If you say no, she'll think you're lying, and then sh she'll shoot you. Huh? Huh? How does it feel, Karen? Ow. Why did you punch that? That would have hurt. I feel so bad for Karen. Karen deserves better. Okay? Look at me. You gotta go home. Smarten up. Yes, smarten up, Henry. Smarten up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She'll kill him, but she won't divorce him. You're gonna pay. Just give us the fucking money. Huh? I can't. I, I can't. I swear. I ate the money. No. <laughs> Sorry, that was a bad joke. Is he gonna feed him to the lion or something? Oh, yep. I was right. The guy we roughed up turned out to have a sister working as a typist for the FBI. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Say hello to those blowjob hacks, huh? <laughs> Why are they just letting him walk around like this? Isn't he supposed to be going to jail? This looks like very nice prison. I would go to this prison. <laughs> if I ever went to prison, I would want to go to this prison. I love how everyone can be bribed for a price. She's already here. Yeah, Karen does a lot for you, Henry. It doesn't really feel like you're appreciating her at all. And she's always sorry, sorry, sorry. Four years later, she's heard about her every single day. He's out. He's a free man. 
four years older. Four years more mature. Actually, I feel like she he's way less mature. I don't know. I feel like he's going to be the exact same matureness. Karen, don't worry about it. Oh my it's god. Stop just saying, don't worry about it. This guy bugs me. Actually, they ate pretty good in the joint. That means anybody. Alright. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, of course. And let me... He's not gonna listen to him, it, is, he, is he? Oh, look, he's snorting snow. It's snow. <laughs> All I had to do was every once in a while... Henry! Why would you do this? He makes me so bad. His decisions are always just like the wrong ones to make. So I got Jimmy and Tommy. Well, I don't know. Maybe not necessarily the wrong ones because he's getting things out of it. He's getting rich. He's getting money. He's getting his way in life. But like, I don't agree with any of his decisions. And make him get us in the front door. Okay. Okay. I've never heard of this heist. So if this is a real heist, I'm very interested in it. Up and away from the alarms. This is a lot. Even Stax Edwards got No way. No way. Is that Sam? Ewell L. Jackson? Even our old babysitter, Lois Bird. The guy? The main character, Henry, I don't know what the actor's name is, but he really he looks like Alden Al El 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 Elric. The guy who played uh, Han Solo in the solo Star Wars movie. This is the second time in the movie that he's been stalled by her. What if they like or not by her, by like a woman? I wonder if that will like hurt his career in the future or something. I don't know. Make him late for something. Look at this genius. This genius. They pulled it off. They pulled it off. Yeah. Everyone's looking for the money and you just used it. Punch. He's going to get punched. What are you stupid or what? <laughs> Why is everyone spending instantly? Like they told, he told them not to. The Merry Christmas, I need the money. <laughs> Dude, the camera work in this movie is so good. Oh my god, the camera work. If there was an Oscar for camera work, I'm pretty sure there isn't, but if there was an Oscar for camera work, this movie would have won a thousand of them. Yeah, yeah, who is it? It's me. Pete? Yeah. Now, one second. Right. Oh, Frankie and Johnny. Pete? Which Pete? There was supposed to be like 20,000 Pete's. Yeah, yeah. Come on. What is it, guys? What is it with you? Whenever Tommy's oh, in the movie, I get scared that someone's gonna get shot. Yeah, you're always fucking late. You're late for your own fucking no. funeral. No! What did I tell you? What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Come on, make that coffee to go. Whenever he's on screen, someone dies. Prince off the wheel. It was just okay. a matter of time before they. Oh my God! They sh he shot him like eight times. That's why they shot him. Okay, he didn't have to shoot him like eight hundred more times. He was dead after the first bullet. You worry too much. Don't worry around Tommy because he'll shoot you if you worry too much. He'll shoot you if you step the wrong way. Okay? Everything's gonna be fine. Don't give him money, just give him new wigs. Wigs that actually stay on. Wow, this shot. This shot with the music, it's actually it's sexy. It's sexy. I was just stalling for time. I knew I still had to later nine o'clock. So funny that they're Meanwhile, so funny that he's basically a dead know, man right now. I was going and, along with the program. And Henry, Henry's just kind of playing along. But Henry, as he just said, is trying to stop Jimmy from killing him. I'm nervous because he's kind of alone in the back of an alley now. I'm nervous. And he's sitting in the back. Jimmy's sitting in the back, which is usually where you shoot someone from the back. Oh, yeah, okay. It was Tommy. Tommy did it. He's never been away all night without calling. I know something's happening. Aww. Aww. Time, I'll bust the fucking balls. You give him the satisfaction, the fucks. Oh. Come on. Oh, I think I understand. When they, when Henry was like, 
is take, like taking a load off of my soldiers. Jimmy was just saying, Jimmy wasn't saying that because he wasn't going to kill Maury, Morris, Maury. It was because Henry didn't have to be there for it, right? That was, that was more of what he was saying. Oh my God, they're both dead. Oh my God, they're both dead. Oh my God, because they bought the stuff. Wait, but that other guy bought the coat as well. Is he going to die? But it had nothing to do with me. Oh. Robbery, they were finding bodies all over. Months after the robbery? Oh no, is there going to be a body in the meat truck? Oh, there it is. Jimmy was so excited, you'd think he was being made. What does that mean, being made? God be with you, my mom. You know, we always called each other good fellas. Like it's oh, the title of the movie. We would now have one of our own as a member. Oh, being made is getting into the group. Getting into the group, okay. The highest honor. Okay, that makes sense. That's, that makes sense why he was talking about <gasps> My heart actually almost, I had a heart attack, I think. That, I don't, that didn't scare me, it just really surprised me. Really, really surprised me. And Tavi was one of my favorites, even though he was so horrible. He killed so many people. It was revenge for oh. the bats. And a lot of other things. I don't need to see the blood coming out of his head. We had to sit still and take it. it was among the Italian And it's on a carpet too, the blood's gonna shit. soak in there. Uh, well, it looks like a carpet. Maybe it's just really cool tiles. I don't know. Sunday, May 11th, 1980. Okay. I like these very specific times. <laughs> or like the ex exact dates, at least. Up some new Pittsburgh stuff for Lois to fly down to some customers I had near Atlanta. That's a, that's a big day. Good luck, Henry. You hear me? Take them back. It's true. Drugs make your mind mush. Don't do drugs, kids. Don't do drugs, kids. Fine. Let me check you out. Come on. Yeah, you're too drugged up. The flames, and I was mm. gonna put on some string beans with some olive oil and garlic, and I had. This was so good. She's drinking so early in the day, and that was like a big gulp too. Okay, it's funny. It's not good end of the world. We're going to your mother. It's just a guy going for a flight, and it's just a coincidence. Four times in a row, coincidence. The soundtrack is just hit after hit after hit after hit. This is, I love this, like the just his day, starting at six fifty-five in the morning or something like that, and now it's twelve thirty. Yeah, I need a hit. You want to see helicopters? Karen needs a hit. Karen's really changed. All of them, every fucking girl in my life. Oh, okay, that was a little rude. So what she do after she hangs up with me? After everything I. The black bar. As soon as I got home, I started cooking. Lois, Lois, you risked everything. He's gonna die from a drug overdose. Look at him. He looks so bad. What a waste of cocaine. Gotta say that. What a waste of cocaine. It's my lucky hat. I never fly without it. Lois. What? Is the plane gonna crash if you don't have your hat? Shut the car up slowly. Were they listening to the call? You missed the toilet. How did you miss the toilet? Are you bad at life? There's literally cocaine all over your hands. That is not incriminating at all. I feel like she didn't do anything. I think she was just high the whole time and didn't know what she was doing. How much cocaine does it take for you to get high? Bad time. I didn't feel safe until I got home. I wouldn't even feel safe at, safe at home, to be honest. You what? What was I supposed to do? Yeah, what was she supposed to do? Karen, they, were, they were gonna find oh, it! Fuck, Karen, they would have yeah. found it! Why, why would they have not found it? <laughs> They're both dead meat. That's a lot of money. That's what he gave me. 3,200 bucks for a lifetime. It's a long time. Or, it's a long time. That's a lot of money though. You can gamble it, make more. No, 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 it's over here. It's 
to the store in a corner. It's swag, so I got down a corner. No, 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 she's dead, she's dead, she's dead. You kill people in corners, that's what you do. Alright, don't forget, you gotta call me. Alright. There's no addresses there, she's so dead. Bye. Bye, Karen. Bye. I'll miss you. I'll miss you. Bye, Karen. Oh my god. Someone's gonna shoot her or stab her. Oh my god. I'm so nervous for her. I'm still nervous. Something bad is gonna happen. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like these log shots anymore. I really like them, but I don't like them because I'm really nervous that gun gonna go off. Oh my god. I had the feeling Jimmy was trying to sense whether I was gonna rat him out. Look at this shot. It's uh, when you pull out. And then you're zooming in, whatever you call those shots, right? It was one of those. That's when I knew I would never have come back from Florida alive. Yeah. Yeah, the, f the whack was for Henry. God forbid something happens to my parents and they get sick, I can't go and see them? Maybe. Yeah, obviously. I, c I can't do it without you, okay? So, you do whatever, but... You have to think of the kids in this situation. What if they kill both of you and the kids are orphans? <laughs> doesn't matter because whether he goes to Jimmy was arrested school, they, they get left them? back I mean what goes on oh, why would guys go down? oh no I like that guy Hill has identified the defendant James Conway Mr. Hill do you also know a man by the ultimate betrayal top this is actually top 10 anime betrayals maybe even top 5 we paid off cops we paid off lawyers we paid looks like he's talking to the camera and that's the hardest part he just talked to the audience. So they said at the start that this was a true story, but how factual is it? You know what I mean? Like how factual is it and how much just story is it? And that was my reaction to Goodfellas, the 1990, actually I should probably get this out. The 1990 crime drama starring Ray Loita, is that how you say his name? Robert De Niro, Joe Pes Pesci, and Lorraine Bracco, as well as a few other people. There were a lot of people in this movie. Yeah, two hours, 28 minutes. This movie was so good. I actually enjoyed this movie so, so much. I don't know, I was going into this movie going, I'm gonna enjoy this movie, but my reactions to The Godfather, I really liked The Godfather, don't get me wrong, I really liked The Godfather, but it was like my first dip into this sort of movie, so for some reason I was getting like a little bit confused with them and stuff, and so I was kind of expecting the same thing with this movie, but this movie was just so much fun to watch. It was so good. It was so rich and deep. The characters were good. The filmmaking was amazing. I'll talk about all of this stuff in a second. But first, I'm going to talk about the reviews and the ratings for this movie because I like to go over them when I talk about the cast because when I search up the cast list on Google, uh, right underneath the cast are the like, three review scores. Usually one of them is an audience review and then two of them are critic scores. And so I just like to talk about them. So on IMDb, this got an 8.7 out of 10 and 87% from audiences. On Rotten Tomatoes, it got a 96%, and Metacritic, it got a 90%. So it looks like critics like this movie a little bit more than audiences, but I mean, 87% and 96%, like, that is still pretty, that's uh, still an amazing movie. Like, audiences, 87%, that is, audiences love this movie just pretty much just as much as critics, and I gotta say, I think it deserves all of those good ratings. Like, I had a blast watching this movie. I did not once want this movie to end. I did not once like look at the time of this movie and go, oh my gosh, how long is left of this movie? I, like the two hours, the two and a half hours that this movie was did not feel long at all. It felt like it went by so quick. And I think that is like just props to the directing, the filmmaking in general, the acting, the writing, all of that was top notch and i think i'm going to get into the music first because that was something that i noticed especially at the halfway point of the movie and on i started to notice it a lot more but the soundtrack for this movie was amazing i don't know if there was like any actual score for this movie if there was it was probably good but i noticed all of the actual songs that they used probably songs that were made before this movie i mean obviously songs that were made before this movie but probably songs that were made a couple years before this movie maybe popular songs or something there was a tiktok song in there at one point which i was like what the heck there's a tiktok song and got good fellas this is so strange <laughs> but the music was almost non-stop especially in the second half of the movie there was so much music there was so much noise going on but i don't 
think it distracted from the movie. I thought that the music, the song choices elevated the movie, elevated the scene. They added depth to the scene. They added stakes to the scene. They added a more emotion to the scene. I thought the music choice was really, really good. The end credit songs I had a blast listening to. I was like bopping to them. <laughs> I thought they were really funny. And then all of the rest of the music I thought just added to the movie, added something really, really good. But the thing I want to talk about most about this movie is the filmmaking, the camera work. I am a sucker for good camera work. If you've been watching my channel for long enough, you know that I am a sucker for good camera work. And this movie's camera work was some of the best camera work I've seen on a movie in on my channel. And I think that's down to Martin Scorsese's directing. I have not seen a lot of his movies. I think the only movie that I may have seen of his is Taxi Driver. And so I'm not super familiar with his directing style. I know he's a super famous director. I know I should be watching more of his movies because he has such he has had such a big impact on movie culture, movie history. But for some reason, I have not. But his directing in this movie was phenomenal. It was top tier, top notch. And now I can see just be and I watched Taxi Driver as well, not on this channel, but watching that movie and watching this movie, watching Goodfellas, I can see why he is a top tier director. His directing style was amazing it was so creative it was so it was so unique and and they, there were so many cool shots that they didn't have it didn't have to be cool but he decided to make them cool there were so many tracking shots i am such a sucker for tracking shots for long takes and this movie had them by the dozen it and i really like long takes not because of the actual gimmick of the long take although i am a sucker for the gimmick of a long take 1917 for instance is one of my favorite movies because of the gimmick of the long take even know that they pull it off exceptionally well in that movie I, I still think the gimmick of a long take is something that drives me to movies but the other reason I like long takes is because it lets the actors act and there's not there's no cuts I mean I mean there's obviously different takes of the long take but usually there's not that many but you get to see the actors act for 30 seconds, 45 seconds, a minute or more. And you just get to see them sit there and talk or move around and interact with other people without the interruption of cuts and cuts and cuts and editing. And I really like that. It really just gets me immersed into the movie. That is that is kind of the reason why I love long takes because there's no editing. Because since I am super into film, I sometimes do notice the editing and then that sometimes takes me out of the movie because I start to appreciate the editing or go, that was a weird cut or something like that. But when there's long takes, I don't have to think about the editing. I just get to, I mean, yes, I do think about the long takes, but I think that adds to the movie for me. That doesn't distract me from the movie. I just go, wow, this is such a long take. And then I just get right back in the movie. And so that is how I felt with this movie. I felt like all of these longer takes, there were so many takes that were 35 seconds, 45 seconds long, where the characters were just talking to the, each other or the camera was just kind of panning over different people or moving through the crowd with one person or two people. And it was super, super immersive and done so well the one that I want to talk about though was kind of at the start when uh, the narrator when he when Henry right that was his name Henry he was introducing all of these players in the mafia game and it was kind of going through this like bar restaurant and he was going like this is this guy and then he'd like look at the camera and then the camera would swerve to this other guy and it went through the whole bar and people would say hi and then keep talking there was so much going on so much diversity and so much like life going on in the background it just felt so real and that is why I love these long takes as well because it didn't feel like these long takes were there as a gimmick it, and it didn't even feel like because sometimes films use long takes because they don't have enough budget and so long takes are a lot cheaper to make they're harder to make but they're a lot cheaper to produce because there's not as much cuts there's not as much setup per se because you don't have to do like a thousand different takes of one thing it's just one long take right and you only have to do three or four of them probably and then you've got it covered so it's a lot cheaper but this movie also didn't make it feel like it was a lot cheaper because every single long take every single camera movement felt so kinetic so connected to the characters it felt so like true to the way the movie was portrayed i don't know i just thought the camera work in this movie was like actually amazing and there's a lot of different camera works in different movies that can be good like in the godfather there's not a lot of flashy camera work the camera work is very still it's very centered it's very stabilized on the characters and the camera work is not something you're supposed to be thinking about the characters or what you're supposed to be thinking about there's only a few times where i actually pointed out the camera work in the godfather movies like for example when like the Vito backstory in the godfather 2 if you've not seen the godfather 
spoiler to a little bit of actually I wouldn't really say this is spoilers but this backstory to Vito Vito and he, there's like tracking shots in the in the fruit stands or whatever those were really cool but there wasn't a lot of like shots where it's like wow that is an amazing shot but in this movie almost every single shot I said or fought the urge to say what an amazing shot what a great tracking shot what a great shot in general so Props to the movie, props to Martin Scorsese, the camera crew, everyone involved with filmmaking in this movie. It was so good. It was so good. I cannot praise it enough. I have to talk about other stuff because I'm running out of time for my review, but that the filmmaking, I could talk about it all day. It was phenomenal. Another thing I want to talk about before I get into the script and the characters is the lighting. The lighting in this movie was so good and lighting always seems to get pushed aside when talking about movies. I don't know why, it's just something that people don't really think about, I guess, in movies, but the lighting in this movie was phenomenal. It added so much mood to every scene. One of my favorite shots was when they were re-digging up the body that they had buried six months ago, and it was just this wide shot, and you could see their silhouettes, but it was like the red car headlights hitting them from that side. It was just gorgeous to look at and every time they were inside in a restaurant in a bar or something like that and the mood lighting was there or when they were in the club and there was the people singing there was that one shot it was like tracking behind the guy singing you see all the audience's faces and the blue light from the spotlight or whatever was shining into the camera and was giving like this really cool glow thing like the lighting the positioning of the camera with the lights the positioning of the actors with the lights was so good and I'm sure that there is so much more in this movie that like filmmaking wise that I have missed but I need to go into the writing now and I just like like if you don't like this movie you have to appreciate it for the filmmaking you just have to it was mind blow okay anyways going into the writing now the writing of this movie was so so good I really like fast paced dialogue I really like that when characters talk maybe not even talk really fast but when they talk really fast with a purpose and the dialogue is interesting and fast and kinetic this is kind of why i really like quentin tarantino movies because his dialogue is very fast paced back and forth back and forth back and forth and this movie felt like that the dialogue in this movie was back and forth especially whenever joe pesci was in i feel like that is his thing when he's in movies he's really good at talking really fast but the dialogue also didn't feel like oh we need the characters to talk because we need to make up screen time and we don't really know what for them to say like all of the dialogue felt like it had weight to it all of the dialogue felt important i felt like i still had to hang on every single word even though there were so many words and then that made the movie even more like it made me even more anxious during the movie because there was so much dialogue but then it was also like everything is important important and then because there was so much dialogue I was getting anxious but anxious in a good way I don't even know how to describe it but I really loved the dialogue in this movie it was amazing and again it's very different to the godfather i feel like in the godfather the dialogue is very slowed down it's very slow paced the characters take their time to say what they want to say they're very articulate in this movie that while the characters are articulate they are they just talk they talk and talk and talk and talk and talk only a few characters jimmy for instance i feel like slows down when he talks figures out what he wants to say when he talks but joe pesci henry all of those other characters even karen sometimes just talk they just talk whatever they are thinking about just comes out of their mouth pretty much and i think that is very interesting it's cool characterization but it's also really good writing and i loved again i loved the dialogue in this movie another thing i got i thought was really interesting besides the acting and the cast and stuff was the narration i haven't really seen narration like this in a movie before or when i have at least it's never really worked for me but for some reason the narration in this movie really worked for me i really really enjoyed it i really at the start i thought it was just going to be like the first 20 minutes sort of a narration of his early life and then once we got to the the car the car sequence again i was like okay we're back here no more narration but the narration lasted the whole movie and i gotta say while i'm usually not a fan of narration i really love the narration in this i don't know why whenever it's like freeze frame and then he'd narrate over it or something i like was living for those moments i thought it was a really cool addition it was something that was unique that maybe stands makes this movie stand apart from other movies i just really enjoyed it getting to the cast now the cast in general was amazing i'm only gonna get to ray Lo Lo liotta robert de niro joe pesci and lorraine bracco because everyone there's so many other characters but 
every single character in this movie worked so well together not one person stood out from the rest well obviously like the main like robert de niro joe pesci and real leo leota stood out the most because they were the main characters and they definitely definitely like had the movies on their shoulders but even out of those three characters none of them stood out more than the other they all played so well with each other they all played so well in the movie and speaking of that ray leota is the first person i'll talk about he was henry hill he was so good i did not like him just because of all the choices he made like all the choices he made were working out for him until the end of the movie I guess but everything that he made I disagree with all the choices he made I disagreed with but I really really liked him apparently this is a true story I need to look up these people these characters in real life after this review I'm very excited to see how true to the to everything this movie was and how true to actual events this movie was but I thought Ray Liotta did an amazing job, especially with Robert De Niro and Joe Pesci. These like almost veteran actors at this point, Robert De Niro, this being the 90s, he wasn't that young anymore. He'd started in a lot of 70s and 80s stuff. He's a veteran to acting. He's an amazing actor and making, being able to hold your own in the same room as Robert De Niro is, is a tribute to how good he was. I just thought he did an amazing job. Robert De Niro, I, Robert De Niro, what do you want me to say? He was a phenomenal in this movie. He was probably, actually, I think Joe Pesci was my favorite in this movie, but Robert De Niro was definitely a close second. I loved him. He was so, when he was crying over Tommy's death, he was super emotional. When he was angry, he was angry. When he was happy, he was, it was like, I don't know. He was just, I know when he was happy, he was happy. That was kind of a dumb thing to say, I guess, but you kind of understand what I'm saying, right? Like he portrayed these emotions so well, so brilliantly. He was just so much fun to watch on screen and his pairing with Joe Pesci and Ray Liotta, I thought was an amazing pairing. I don't think any other actors would work as well as those three actors in this movie. I thought Robert De Niro did a great job. Finally, we got Joe Pesci as Tommy. Oh, I'll talk about Lorraine Bracco too. So maybe not finally, but Joe Pesci, Again, I've only seen him in Lethal Weapon before. That was the only movie I've ever seen him in. And then I went into Goodfellas because a lot of people recommended Goodfellas to me because he was, he's good in Goodfellas and he was amazing. I got anxious every time he was on screen because he was just killing people left, right, and center. He was kind of like psychopathic. He was just like a killing machine, but I loved his dialogue. My favorite part with his was actually at the start of the movie when he's talking, when he's like joking around at the dinner table and then someone's like, oh, you're funny. I think it was Henry, right? He was like, you're funny. And then he's like, what? You're funny? You're calling me a clown? And it got really serious really fast. And then you got really worried for Henry because you didn't know what was going to happen. And then it turned out he was joking the whole time. Tommy was joking the whole time. But that sequence, that acting range from Joe Pesci from being this super fast talking comedic presence to still talking fast, but being really deadly serious and you being scared for Henry's life, for that character's life, was amazing turn and just showed his range of acting in one sequence. It was so good. I thought Joe Pesci did an amazing job. Finally, Lorraine Bracco as Karen Hill. I really like Karen. I'm glad that Karen divorced Henry in the end. She deserved a lot better. I don't know. I don't know. I don't have a lot to say about her. I just really enjoyed her in this movie. I thought she always was dealt the wrong hand. I thought Henry did not treat her right at all. I thought I kind of felt bad for her the whole movie. I thought Lorraine Bracco though did an amazing job as his character, as his person. And yeah, I kind of, I, I'm very interested in all these people's lives again. But yeah, I thought Lorraine Bracco did an amazing job. Okay, and that is it for my review of Goodfellas. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you so much to these wonderful, beautiful, amazing people right here for supporting me and supporting my channel. It really does mean a lot. And thank you so much if you listened to, to my review as well. If you made it this far, it means a lot for you just to listen to me talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. And I'll see you next time for my next movie reaction.